Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Minecraft YouTuber, Gardner. So a few months back, I did a video about how to play Minecraft on your Steam Deck, and it has gotten a fair number of views. But there's a problem with that video. In it, I recommended a community-made Minecraft launcher called PolyMC. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but the PolyMC development team had a hostile takeover by one rogue developer. This dev has kicked everybody else out of the team, and they now have control over the source code of the launcher. They've also made it known that they have absolutely no respect for a huge portion of their user base. Therefore, PolyMC can no longer be trusted on your system. If you already have it installed, it's a good idea to remove it from your PC, either your Steam Deck or your computer. Thankfully though, there are other options out there, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to run Minecraft using GD Launcher. But keep in mind that there's also AT Launcher and MultiMC and a couple other options. So if this one doesn't suit your needs, uh, there are others available. So the first thing that you should do is switch to the desktop on your deck. Now go to the Discover Store and search for GD Launcher. Once it's done installing, go ahead and launch it, either by clicking on the Launch button in Discover, or by opening the Deck menu and typing in Minecraft or GD Launcher. Now, you'll be walked through the GD Launcher process. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is set up Java. Unless you have a reason to use something else, just click the Automatic Setup button and the app will download and configure Java for you. Once this process is complete, you'll want to log into your Minecraft account. And if you've already linked your Minecraft account with your Microsoft account, use that instead. Now use the down arrow to tab through the first run welcome introduction. And then close out of the announcement screen when it pops up. Now we have our launcher. Let's create a new instance of Minecraft. Click the plus icon in the bottom left corner and then choose your build of Minecraft followed by the version number. Here I'm installing vanilla Minecraft version 1.19.2. This will download and install the version that you've selected. And it should be noted that you can download multiple instances of Minecraft, which is handy if you want to use mods that work with older versions of the game, but not the current version. While it's downloading, let's go ahead and open up the settings panel with the gear icon on the top of the window. Let's set the game's resolution to match the deck's native resolution. And do note that if you want to run the game on an external 16x9 display, then you'll want to change this resolution to match something like 1080p or any other such resolution. Otherwise, you'll end up with letterboxing on the sides of the screen like this. It's not done downloading yet, so while we wait, why not like that smash button and give the subscribe button a squeeze? It's because of folks like you that we're nearly at 100,000 subscribers. And when we hit 100K, I'm gonna be giving away a Steam Deck. Well, not this one, but you know what I mean. Make sure you get subscribed and thanks. Okay, now that we have it set up, let's launch this version of Minecraft to confirm that it's actually working. And it works, that's great. The last thing that we need to do before we switch back to game mode is to actually add GD Launcher to our Steam library. We're gonna open the deck menu and then search for Minecraft or GD Launcher. You can just start typing if you have a keyboard connected or you can hold the Steam button and then press X to bring up the virtual keyboard. Great, now let's right click on GD Launcher and select Add to Steam. Now you might notice that there's already a Minecraft installed on my system and keen eyes might have noticed that it's available for install from uh, Discover Store as well. Unfortunately, this version of the game is not actually able to save your credentials uh, so if you close the app after you've logged in, when you open the app again, you won't be logged in anymore. And that's super annoying. Uh, so that's why we're using GD Launcher instead. All right, now that we have everything set up, we can log out of desktop mode and this should return us to game mode. Once we're back at your home screen, hit the Steam button and then select your library from the list. Then using the R1 button, go to your non-Steam games tab. Now find GD Launcher in the list and launch it.
generate a new world, and in the meantime, you're gonna wanna actually set up your controls. Hit the Steam button again and choose controller settings. I've created uh, the Gardner Bryant Minecraft controls, and I've shared them with the community. It aims to be an intuitive layout for the Steam Deck. Feel free to download it and modify it to your heart's content or leave any suggestions in the comments. Do note that this layout assumes that you have auto jump enabled and that you've set sneak to toggle rather than hold. And you know what? I truly love making these videos for you. If you found this video useful, you can like and subscribe, of course, and share this video. But if you believe in what I'm doing here, you know, spreading the good word of the Steam Deck, then you can join up and become a Steam Deck warrior over on Patreon or as a YouTube member. It's because of these fine folks that I'm able to continue making videos just like this. And thanks. I think that's going to do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. See you next time.